Deborah this, is, this is Deborah Dew. And uh, a lot of this that was behind the seawall. And uh, you can oh. understand that the just tremendous surge here damaged these houses. Some of these houses, I think, cost the construction alone between $500,000 and a million dollars. And you can see what the surge did here. It, it uh, destroyed some of these houses. extensive flooding in the interior of, of Deberdu here. And you see the tremendous scarps where they cut away dunes. These were giant dunes in front and they're they've been scarped extensively by the storm. Scarped? What, what is that? Well they, they've been eroded away and we call it the scarp where uh, where the face of that dune now is, uh, is, is exposed. Now we're crossing, uh, this is one of the most amazing areas I think. This is, we're crossing Midway Inlet and this is the south end of Paula's Island. I think this is one of the greatest landmarks in the state of South Carolina. And you can see that the storm actually cut a new inlet here. You're going to see that in just a second. And, and they capped it off there by putting is. a house in the middle of it. There's the inlet. Uh, there are houses here uh, that were here that are now back in the creek. And some of them have actually been blown back to the mainland behind Pauley's Island. Mm -hmm. We're coming up toward the middle of the island. Uh, and in this area, south of the South Causeway, there's still extensive damage. You can see houses that have been propelled back into second and third row. The houses in the middle of the island seem to have fared better than those certainly down on the south end. Still looking at damage at Pauley's. Uh, there were some nice dunes in this area. Uh, they certainly been cut away by the by the storm surge and there's damage uh, pretty much throughout all this this is a this is another one of the causeways that come onto the island how long will it take to rebuild a dune system well a lot of this sand we feel is just offshore and and, and i could see even yesterday some of that sand is coming back on shore but uh, you know it's it's not we're, we're moving into a time of year where we're usually into erosional pattern rather than an accretional pattern accretion starts during the spring and mm -hmm. summer so we're entering this period in certainly a tremendous net deficit. Is there is there a danger for further damage from the tides? Sure. In the and and I would and, and and I would like to say that we are considering an emergency order that we hope to be issuing in the next day or so. That's going to allow people to push sand or bring sand in from uh, as long as it's compatible sand from the external sources or push sand from the mean low water up toward their houses to get some protection. And of course, we already at this time have a an emergency order in in place that would allow people to use sandbags to help protect structures. But the, the beach face has been lowered dramatically by this storm. This is the Pauley's Island Pier, Pier Village, and you can see there's no longer a pier here. It's been destroyed. And this, and we're moving toward the north end of Pauley's now. And is still, still damage here in this area. If you've just joined us, we're looking at unedited footage taken yesterday aboard an uh, Apache helicopter of the South Carolina National Guard with Governor Carol Campbell, other top state officials, uh, Alan Sharp from ETV, shooting the pictures. And you're seeing them as they were shot, going from Hilton Head to North Myrtle Beach. Now we're across uh, we the inlet. We're, we're up here now on a, a beach called Magnolia Beach, which is the southern part of Litchfield. 